was the hardest story I've ever done physically because of the altitude and the steepness of the mountains. Visually, it looks like you're on the moon. The cat's very shy and elusive. They can see for very long distances. We are constantly scanning with binoculars to try to see them, and I would be of the opinion that they're looking to see us. I myself brought 33 bags with me of equipment, sleeping bags, warm clothes. I mean, you think of what you need. So, you know, we flew from Delhi and then Delhi up to Leh, the capital of Ladakh. This is where we're gonna start our uh, snow leopard expedition. We'll be here a few days to acclimate to the altitudes at 12,000 feet. And then got the bags into where the road ends by uh, truck and jeep. And then we had to load everything on horseback and walk in. We took in 14 remote cameras and a whole camp. Tents, sleeping bags, cots, pads. We bought food from the U.S. and then we bought some in India. At night it was 30 below zero. And I've spent my whole career working in jungles. So this was a real switch for me. We looked for locations with the help of the local people that worked with the Snow Leopard NGOs. They had already ID'd locations where the cat comes to mark. This is a new uh, track for Snow Leopards. It looks, you know, the, this is female one. This is uh, last uh, two days, you know, very fresh step and tracks. You can see someone, you know, uh, uh, spraying here. With this knowledge, we were able to find locations to set up cameras where we knew that cats would come to visit. Once we knew we were having success in like a specific trail, then I would, I quote, mine that trail with remote cameras. Okay, let's put the caps on, get the rope up, we're done.